Yo, what's going on guys? So the other day I was watching this video all about the plebes of the navy, not to be confused with the plebs of this world. A plebe is basically a person who's just getting into the navy, the freshman class of our country if you will. And so they go into boot camp and these kids are having to say goodbye to all their friends and family for a few months, seeing that their only form of communication from here on out will pretty much just be snail mail or perhaps a carrier pigeon. And I gotta say, it must be a mixture of both terrible and amazing feelings for these people, because this all kinds of reasons to be wanting to join the military some of them really know right off the bat that this is what they want to do with their lives they literally come out the womb talking about marriage and obtaining a dodge charger so they've really been anticipating this moment for a while running around school like they've got fourth period in iraq and while other people are simply here because they more or less have nowhere else to go. I really knew early on that the whole military thing wasn't going to be for me. I mean, first of all, I hate when people tell me what to do, especially when they're not nice about it. And as far as I'm aware, people in the military don't really pride themselves on kindness. Also, ever since I became an adult, I really just don't deal with idiots or douchebags. If you want to be an asshole, you want to play as stupid, then I'm just going to deal with somebody else. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, that's called freedom of choice. That's called America, baby. And you know those first couple months after joining the military are basically hell. You're just running around like a chicken with their head cut off trying to impress Colonel Sanders. Also, I really would not want to shave my head. Like, that's where this whole military thing becomes a real deal breaker. And with the Navy, even after all this boot camp bullshit, you still gotta go and be in a submarine surrounded by a bunch of other dudes. Like, are you kidding me? I'm just so proud of them. We have worked really long and hard for this moment. And we just feel like... All the hard work pays off. You know that this man is having second thoughts. I actually don't think he wants anything to do with the Navy. I mean, this man can't even swim. Ooh. I just really wanted to join a frat and see some titties, mom. Not sell my soul to the government this weekend. Listen, they don't care if you're black, white, Mexican, or even Asian. All souls are accepted here by the government. And listen, in all honesty though, if you pressure your kid into going into the military when they obviously don't want to be involved, you're not being a very good parent. And I understand if you have a bad seed who has no real life path, but other than that, you should really let your kid make this type of choice that's gonna affect the whole rest of their life. And I like how no one interested in joining up looks even remotely athletic. It's like all the kids who got cut from the high school sports teams finally came together to prove their worth, doing push-ups by their bedside every night, like they'll see, one day they'll all see. The second station gives the plebes one last chance to discreetly dispose of any fake IDs, alcohol, or drugs. You would have to have balls the size of Texas to show up drunk to this type of thing. Listen, Steve, you did great on the physical exam, dude, but you're drunk. You blew a 6.0, so I'm gonna need you to come back in a few hours and then we'll get you suited up, okay, buddy? They go through these 26 stations to get prepared to become members of the Navy, members of the Frat of America, and one of these stations includes a pregnancy test for the ladies. Imagine finding out that you're knocked up through the Navy. That's a real game changer right there. I mean, hey, I guess it's one way to avoid paying for a pregnancy test. After they do all these steps, they shave their head, or for the girls, they either have to cut their hair very short or just tie it up into a tight bun. Which, look, I get it, they're all in this together, but something about it just really ruins the whole experience for me. Something about it just seems very culty, seems very concentration camp-like. And then they finally let them throw on the uniform to just solidify the fact that they are 100% f***. They are 100% in on this. And then they have these detailers who are basically the juniors of the frat of America, haze them and treat them like sh**. No running, just walk fast. Your left hand, what do you think is wrong with it? Call me. That's right, I don't even have to tell you, right? Because you knew it was wrong. So then let it happen again. Don't shake your head. You know, this is something else I would not be able to put up with if I was to join the military. Just because someone would be a higher rank than me doesn't mean I would want them to be all up in my face talking to me however they wanted. You just know that Dumbo and his wannabe Chad friend were bullied back in high school, so now they're here to take it out on some poor recruits. And they can't even say anything back to them, they just have to stand there at attention. Listen man, I just hope you don't catch a strong gust of wind, Dumbo. You're gonna fly away with those big ears. And as for you, why don't you get your thumb head looking ass up out my face before I slap it? Obviously, I'm not cut out for this line of work. What you keep smirking stuff. for it. You really think this is a game or something? Look it in. Get it away. Get it away. It's alright, sir. It's alright, sir. Wow, these are really just the most intimidating people of all time. And yes, Steven, this is a game and your life is what's at risk. It really is truly amazing to me all the things that people will do for a country who's literally risking your life over oil and money. The doors close. Their journey to becoming midshipmen officially begins. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of respect for these people, and I'm very grateful that they're fighting for our country, but at the same time, I can't help but feel a little bit skeptical. A lot of these poor souls don't even know what's about to hit them. I'm telling you, I got some friends in the military, and a lot of them are super depressed. And then they get out of the military, and they're like, okay, I want to live a normal life. And they do that for like two months, and then they're back in the military again. So there must be something special about it. I guess Uncle Sam be washing your back real nice or something. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comments below if you think you could survive boot camp i don't think i personally could either way i want to thank you guys for watching drop a big like on the video please subscribe today and i got a couple more videos coming out over the next couple days so i hope you're excited for that guys i'll catch y'all later peace out